What's up, everybody? Well, today I thought I'd go ahead and bring to you another vacuum that's in my vacuum collection and of something I honestly didn't think I would end up getting. Here I present to you a Dirt Devil Featherlight. This is actually one of the later variations of the Featherlight. But there was actually two versions of it. There was the direct air version, then there was the bypass version that later came out, and that's what this one is. This is a bypass feather light. I bought this at a pawn shop locally in my area. Originally, I had no intentions of getting another Dirt Devil. If any Dirt Devil I would want to get, I wish I could get another Deluxe, because I used to have an 8201 that some of you have seen on the channel. And I sold that thing a while ago, and I regret selling it to this day, because that was arguably a much better Dirt Devil. And backstory for how I got this, yes, obviously the pawn shop, but what made me end up getting it was originally I was given the idea to maybe try to give Dirt Devil a second chance. When I was little, I grew up with a direct air version of the Dirt Devil Featherlight. It was a sage green Featherlight Plus. It had no headlight. It was direct air. It was owned by my grandparents back when they had it at their ranch out in West Texas. And it was an okay vacuum. I say that. It was good performing, but it was obnoxiously loud. I mean... I don't know whether or not the fan was broken or the motor bearings were shot, but because of that, that vacuum was stupidly loud to the point it was unbearable to use. And the couple times that I used it, that honestly gave me a bad vibe for Dirt Devil from the get-go. So I honestly... Never really trusted Dirt Devils, especially when it comes to quality. Although, getting another Featherlight honestly gives me a chance to give Dirt Devil another chance. How I think it would be more fitting if I gave it a second chance by buying the Dirt Devil Direct Air Featherlight that gave me a bad vibe from the get-go. But for now, I got the Bypass version, which... Honestly, I believe there are some, some differences and some pros and cons to having a bypass version versus the direct air. And I will go ahead and go through those later in the video. But for now, let's give a walk through the machine. So typical Dirt Devil fare. It doesn't have extremely high quality. And here is the hose. One thing I do like about it, the hose is very big. Which is, in my opinion, what gives this thing such great performance. Because for a bypass machine, this thing has excellent amount of airflow. Which, I'm glad they solved that issue when they converted it this from a direct air to a bypass. Usually direct air motors are known to produce more airflow and are better for cleaning carpets but dirt devil i guess wanted better tool suction so when they made this into a bypass version they they wanted to retain large airflow so their way of doing it was hey make a big hose so yeah now you have a very big hose and not only does this provide a good amount of suction, but the air path for the airflow is not cramming its way through a tiny little hose and slowing down. So that is one nice thing to have a, a large hose. It produces much more airflow that way. Because suction people think good suction is a good performing vacuum. That is not true. Suction is the third most important thing. The other ones are agitation and airflow. And airflow definitely is one play into a good performing vacuum. 
So right back here, you do have your dusting brush. This is not the original dusting brush. This, honestly, I threw this on because I like it a little bit better than the original Miss Excuse for a brush, for a dusting brush that this would have come with. But these, these bristles are very nice and soft and this does fit, but it does fit the wand a little better. It won't fit the end of the hose, but it will fit at the end of the extension wand right here. And right here you have your crevice tool. And right here is your little label on the back to tell you that it takes style five belts and uh, U type bags. Which speaking of bag, I will I would like to point that out. I actually modified this to take a different bag. What the bag I'm using in this is a bag for a Recar Superlight. So I can get HEPA filtration, much better performance. And this is overall a better bag than the, than the Dirt Devil U bags. I honestly do not know what Dirt Devil was thinking when they went to a a U bag compared to the D bags that the direct air version used to have. The U bags are a lot smaller. So, but going to this Recar Superlight bag, I only did this because I wanted the HEPA filtration because I like running HEPA cloth bags in my vacuums. They filter so much better and you retain performance throughout the entire vacuuming process, basically 100%. And right down here, you do have your your pretty cheap. Let me see if I can get this bag out of the way. Show you, there's your pretty cheap looking pre motor filter that can be removed if you need it to be cleaned out. But surprisingly, the motor that's in this seems to have pretty good protection even though this is a cheap pre-motor filter the motors seem to last pretty good on these they arguably that is one thing they that dirt devil was caring about when they cared about when they redesigned this into a bypass they cared more about motor life because the motor life in the in the direct airs were just ridiculous those things went through motor bearings, which is honestly the reason why, another reason why those things were so loud to begin with. So they, so Dirt Devil made a much more durable motor for the bypass versions. So I'm adding on a little bit to the motor protection by putting this, this custom HEPA bag conversion. So let's go ahead and put this guy back on. Here's your little lettering on the on the outer bag, here's your marketing sticker right here. It is lightest full size with tools. This is in fact very lightweight, hence the name Feather Light. And it's a powerful 12 amp motor with a motor guard protects fan from damage. Well, what really protects the fan from damage is that this is a bypass vacuum. It goes through a series of filters before before it before it exhausts out clean air which the other name for a bypass vacuum is clean air you know clean air versus direct air which right here is the micro fresh filtration traps over nine ninety nine percent of dust and allergens ideal for allergy sufferers definitely works good especially with the hepa bag upgrade Ready to use stretch hose for extended cl cleaning reach. I don't know why they marketed this as a stretch hose because reality, this hose is not flexible whatsoever, which is an unfortunate thing for these dirt devils. The, the hose is not very flexible. In fact, it's a, it's a fixed hose. That's one thing. It, it gets very stiff over time and doesn't like to flex anywhere it wants. So anyway, right down here, you do have your headlight right down there. 
Your double lettering up there has quote unquote automatic carpet height adjustment. Basically it doesn't have any carpet height settings. So basically when you're vacuuming, when you recline the vacuum back, the wheels underneath here will actually lift up and drop the brush roll onto the floor. The only issue I have with this setup is mostly has to do with the hose right here. Because like I said, the hose gets stiff over time. And since this thing locks into position, well, when the head tips back, because of the tension in the hose, sometimes it'll, it will like to lift with the hose which is the the other part I don't like about this carpet height adjustment setting. I wish they, they Dirt Devil wasn't so cheap with the hose. I wish they actually put one, put a, the hose connection right here. And so you can have an, a small section right here that's that pivots to contour the, the cleaner head so you won't have any issues where the cleaner head will slightly raise up because of tension right here in the hose. Which is one reason I do I do like the direct air versions a little because they don't even have the have the hose connected into the floor head. But I believe there's could have ways they could have thought around this. Right here, you have the feather light logo there, 12 amps with the motor guard. And let's go ahead and show you the underside of the, of the cleaner. Here is the brush roll that that is in it. Not, in my opinion, the best brush roll. And what really gets me is the direct air version of this actually used a wood brush roll. This one is actually plastic. So, it, at least it does have stiff bristles. So that definitely helps with some agitation. But I honestly like the feeling and quality of a wooden brush roll over the a plastic brush roll. Maybe a direct air wooden brush roll could fit this. I'm not entirely too sure about it. But if anyone knows if they can, please let me know. But this brush roll is all right. I do like the stiff bristles. They are a little bit stiffer than the wooden brush roll that I remember in my grandparents' direct air feather light. And... There's the belt right here. The one issue I heard from a lot of Dirt Devil owners is these style four and five belts. I don't know if it's in their design, but they tend to burn up pretty fast. Could be mostly for this automatic carpet head adjustment. It, uh, it doesn't set at a preset carpet height. So these wheels, when they lift back and drop the brush roll, you're stuck on whatever surface you have, which which if the brush roll is grinding into the carpet fibers, yeah, it will burn the belt and stretch it out a little bit faster than if you were to preset it at a carpet hide. But anyway, I think I've pretty much shown you all around the cleaner. So for now, let's go ahead and release the cord. So yeah, I like to make sure this thing is in fact turned off because there's one thing I never liked about these feather lights, and a lot of Dirt Devils were the same way, that is the power switch setup. I'm honestly not big a fan of the foot pedal power switch. These things are so sensitive, you just barely touch it, and all of a sudden the vacuum flickers. So, and also you will notice the upper cord hook is actually not the original. That's one way to tell. I actually got this on eBay, this was marketed for a one of Dirt Devil stick vacuums, but the design looked very similar to the actual feather light upper cord hook. So I thought, shot in the dark, if I, I'll buy it, and if it fits, it fits. And when I got it back, surprisingly enough, it actually fit on perfectly, and it works amazing. So, other than that, now let's go ahead and and unravel the rest of the cord. And which, one way to tell these Dirt Devils that it's a bypass besides the obvious hose coming from the cleaner head 
If it's a bypass, normally the cord will be mounted on the side, kind of like a Bissell. If it were direct air, it'd be mounted on the back and both upper and lower cord hooks can rotate. When I actually picked this up at a pawn shop, me being the big idiot because I don't have that much experience of knowledge of these dirt devils, I thought this lower cord hook rotated and so I ended up breaking it right there in the store. Luckily, I insisted on buying it. But, so I did have to replace this one as well, but that's an error on my part. But anyway, let's go ahead and plug this guy in. And now, let's go ahead and turn this thing on and give you a little demo of this thing running. And one thing I would like to point out is typical Dirt Devil fashion, this thing is pretty loud when it's running. Even for it being a bypass design motor, it's still pretty loud, but not as loud as its direct air predecessor. So anyway, let's go ahead and turn this guy on, and headphone users beware. Here we go.
will say this. When I got this, I was expecting to hate it. In fact, I managed... I, when I got this, my first thought was fix it up, maybe sell it for, for maybe a little extra money. But using this, I will say, it's very pleasant to use. And definitely, it's not that overbearing to use compared to the direct air version as far as noise is concerned. And I honestly feel like for a, a clean air based bypass upright, this actually performs very good, drives so much airflow. But the only drawbacks I have toward these is the cord's very short and it doesn't have as good a build quality as some of its competition. And while I was running it, it made me realize I haven't shown you guys the model number of this guy yet. Right here, it, it is one of the later versions of the Royal Dirt Devil. This is before TTI bought the company, thank God. But anyway, yeah, it's a Royal Cleaner model 085570, plant R. It is a... one. 20 volts, 16 hertz, 12 amps. And there's the warranty sticker right there, if anyone wants to know that. Made in China, unfortunately. But my, my defense for this would be, at least this is a Royal Dirt Devil. I thought this would be a TTI Dirt Devil. But at least it's a Royal Dirt Devil. Anyway, before we end the video, let's go ahead and demonstrate this guy in tool mode. Just pull that hose out. You see there's a little trap door that closes to prevent anything the brush roll might suck up and blow through back into the air. So anyway, just unhook the hose from the rack like so. Turn this guy on. Very strong suction. wand off put that back in here now let's go ahead and make a lousy attempt to wrap the hose around that's one one clever thing I will admit that dirt devil did when they did this is is the hose end here swivels which I do like that because this is something that none none of the Hoover or Bissell cleaners thought of doing when their vacuums came out so that's one clever idea for Dirt Devil, to solve the hose tangle issue. So anyway, let's go ahead and snap this guy back in the hose rack. And make a somewhat attempt to reconnect the hose on camera. So, yeah, I just got to... Even the, even the end of the hose here rotates, so that's one nice thing. You just twist that and lock the hose on board on the tool rack. And what I like to do is make sure the hose is, is 
seated just right on the rack so you have a lot of tension here at the bottom so you don't have to worry about the head springing back up from this stiff hose tension but anyway this is a great cleaner good performance but a little bit too cheap a build quality for my taste but i hope you've enjoyed this video on the dirt devil feather light be sure and stay tuned, and don't forget to like, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.